Kelly Mayol spent almost all of 2013 in prison. Her daughter was four years old at the time and was left in the care of her grandparents. Seven years later, she tells us how it affected their relationship. So, you know, it's been a little bit of a road, but now we have an amazing relationship. And that's because I'm healing and she's healing. And we're putting in the effort to be, you know, the best mom and daughter ever. <laughs> Yasmin Mayol notes that her primary upbringing was with her grandparents. Um, those were, my grandparents really were like the people that I spent most of my time with my whole entire life. They have power of attorney, so those are the people I I'm always with. And what's your fondest memory of you and your grandmother? Everything, like just living with her. Um, I mean, she's been around the same exact time that my mom is like my, she was the only person in the delivery room. Um, I can't remember my first memory with her because I think everything was just with her. Like she was just always there. Nationwide, almost 80% of women in prison are mothers. In the last 20 years, there has been a spike in female imprisonment that has not only left a mark on them, has left a mark on their children as well. These children are left in the care of their grandparents, ended up in the foster care system, or worse, in a juvenile detention center. I never really knew until I was like eight years old like um, that my, gr my grandmother wasn't my mom, like I always referred to her as my mom. I always, you know, um, just interacted with her as if she was my mom. Mitchell's struggles are reflective of the effects of parental incarceration. Today, he is the founder of Chainless Change, an NGO that helps re-entering citizens find jobs. A study conducted by Duke University demonstrates that children of an incarcerated parent are more likely to drop out of high school or be charged with a felony. I like spiral into like this place of isolation. Um, I remember getting arrested at school, going to jail. Like I was I, going to jail, I got out. It, Children of incarcerated parents are the unplanned damage that the tough on crime approach did not see. Today, the national discussion is on topics like criminal justice reform and what policies like the First Step Act are doing for the first time in decades. Reporting from Dade County Courthouse for FIU News, Maritza Zuluaga.